Hi, I'm sure we're all familiar with Bot.new. It's a website that actually lets you build a website or even a web app from just a prompt and it can even give you a public link. Yes, full stack applications. So if you're not familiar with it, that's what it, what it is. And when using, I'm sure we've all encountered after maybe like your fifth prompt back and forth, it tells you you've gotten to a limit for the day since it's like a free trial, right? And you should upgrade to the pro version. But what if I tell you that you can actually set it up locally, right? With any LLM of your choice, set it up locally and actually use it unlimited. Stay with me, let me show you how. So to do that, you have to navigate to boats.diy, right? If you navigate to the pages, what you would see, right? Please remember this tutorial is going to be strictly for people who have not written code before. So it's going to be very, very basic. Like even my mother, my dad, anybody can pick it up and, and be able to set this up. So we're not going to be using Git or any of this extra setup. We're just going to do it straightforward like a non-developer, like a project manager would. Right, so once you navigate to the URL, you just scroll down to the quick download. And we're not going to be using Git, we just click on this. It's going to take you to the download page where you select um, what you want to download. And you can see the, all the information about the release version and whatnot. And you download the source code, right? It's a zip file. And once you click it, you see it starts to download. And once the download is done, you just need to open that and... Um, Show, show in folder and it comes up to your download folder right and all you have to do is extract it so this is still for windows and if you're using a different system you might need to just adapt this a bit to whichever os you're using so you'll um right click and you click on extract all and yes you extract it and it should show the folder when done it's just going to extract the files of the code Remember, we're going to be able to set this up totally locally offline. So just stay with me. And once it's done extracting, you get to see, you see another folder inside the folder, right? And then you click on that folder, you right click, and you will see open with terminal, right? And it's going to open whatever terminal you have set up, like on your system. And it's going to also open in that location. Now let's get back to the site so we can see the instructions. So just navigate back to um, bot.diy and after downloading, after like you see, you download the zip file, you extract it, right? The next thing you need is Node.js. So you're going to click on the link here and you go to the Node.js download page. You download um, the Node.js installer for whichever OS you're using. I am using Windows. So I'm just going to click this and once it's done downloading, all you have to do is double click. It's done and you double click and it's going to start the installation. If you already have node on your system, you can skip this, right? So, but if you don't have node on your system, I'm going to show you how like work you through the setup. Like I said, this is a very basic setup. It's not going to be, it's not sped up and it's just going to show you how to set up. So once it's done completing the space you need, um, it shows a next button is ready. You click on next, you accept the terms and condition. You can retreat if you do that. And you just click, leave everything as default, right? Add to parts that needs to be checked. Do not touch it. And next, you know, automatically install necessary to next, next, next like that right and you click install i already have this installed so i'm just going to click in cancel right and that's it and once it's done you just click on finish now once you're done installing node.js you come back to the instructions page and uh, if you had any issues with installation you can follow the steps to make sure it was successful but if you had no issues and everything finished the last page and it shows you the finished page you can just uh continue and just skip scroll down so next thing is inside the package manager, um, you click on copy, you open the terminal. Remember the terminal we opened previously? Um, just left click to paste if you're on Windows and you press enter. Remember you are running this command inside the folder, right? So you wait for the command to be done like executing. You see it has added one package, which is um, the package manager. 
Next, you need to install the dependencies. Left click to paste and you press enter and then it starts to install all the necessary packages. And it's as simple as that actually. Okay, and that's it. It's done. For me, it's saying Git can't be found. Like I said, we're not going to be using Git because it's too supposed to be for somebody with a clean, brand new like system, a non-developer. But it's just the one in right. It's still going to work even without Git and what's not. So, you see, it's done. Once everything is done installing, right? And it tells you done. You know, it's done successfully. Next, you need to start the application. Even if you come back next time, maybe you restart your system. This is the command you will use to start the application. So you just copy and come back here. And the same way, I'm just going to paste and press enter. And it's going to start the application. Now, put in mind, yes, I had a different version of Node.js, but it's still going to work. For you, since you're going to be installing your Node.js brand new, it's going to be the latest versions and you will not have any issue. Also, this is still a warning. Yes, there's no git set up for the directory. That's fine. It's still going to work. So it might take a while. Just wait for it to... Okay, and then it's ready to be used. You would see the URL, right? All you have to do is um, click on the URL and it's going to open on your browser, right? And that's it, right? You can see it's loaded, right? And you have it locally. Look at this URL, localhost um, with the port 5174. And this means you can actually use it unlimited. Now, what LLM is this is going to work with? On the first load, it's not going to show you the selection for you to select which LLM you want to use, right? So, one thing you can do is um refresh so that it's going to like um sh come back and sh ask you to select the llm so after the first reload if you notice i now have option to select the uh llm i want to use and you can see the options that are available now if you have olama set up right you need to be able to like click on edit and enter the api key right and it can even see how to download olama and whatnot if you're using um, DeepSeek and you have the API key, you can do that as well. Okay, if it's DeepSeek code that you want to use, and you can actually click on this link. It takes you to the URL of where you can get the API key, right? If it's OpenAI you're using, you can as well use that. If it's LM Studio, you can as well use that if you have it set up. I have a tutorial on how to set up LM Studio and um, Olama right you can check that out on my channel already so for but for today we're going to be using um google gemini right i'm going to be selecting gemini 2.0 and we're going to be adding api key now i will show you how to get the api key for google um gemini so you navigate to the aistudio.google.com right and if you already logged in this should open fine and you click on create an API key, right? And you select normal API key, right? You can just come back here, that's the key. So, so once you have the key already set up, you can use it. So now let's test this, right? We're gonna be testing it by building a online, we're gonna be testing this by building an online notice board a public notice board no attention nothing where people can just come and you know put things so um i already have like a prompt drafted but just something simple i'm going to be pasting that here right it's, i'm asking to build a notice board that looks like a sticky note feel with a modern ui i should populate it with some you know notice and it should um you know have different sizes like a staggered UI. So we're just going to be testing that out. And you see, it works exactly like boot.new, even though this boot.diy, right? Even though you have this locally. So it's going to like show the code. I, I guess we're all familiar with the interface. If you're not, this is the code, um, the code interface, like the IDE. And this is the chat interface where you can actually have conversations back and forth. And you can even add like a file, right? 
you can upload a file with your prompts like you would normally do and you can actually download the code base once it's done um generating also you can preview this here so let's just wait for it i think it's partially done already right okay it's still generating some more code and automatically it comes for you to preview the application okay there's an error that is fine you can just uh copy the error and ask Bo to fix it for you so the same way you query charge gbt and the rest you can you get like you would use cursor right and you see it comes and tries to fix the problem And it's going through the code so if you're not familiar with software development you can just you know have conversations and it would respond based on those conversations and know what to edit so if there's an error you can talk to it if there is a color issue and that's it so we can see uh okay let me add a note code let's works yeah i do so add a note see and let's just you know add some random notes for people that do not like code, you can say okay i want the sticky notes to have random colors right i'm just showing you like what it will look like. this is a website you're designing or something right this is what it will look like back and forth request you know right and submit that and just the same way you use both the new online it would uh work and this is totally local this is totally free the api i showed you guys how to use the google api has a free fit has a free tire where it's you get like a particular number of per day and i've actually never been able to like finish my my what's the name my number of requests per day of course it's for personal use so that way i think you don't really need to set up anything locally but if you're a developer and you already know how to code you already have olama set up or you've seen my tutorials on how to set up olama you can actually use those ones and have it totally local right but for if you're not a developer right it's just easier to just use the gemini um api 2.0 i think it's smart enough and it's free and i think it's good enough actually so you see that worked right i told it i came here and i said i want the sticky notes to have random colors and i was able to edit it and you can see the preview of what it's doing as it's doing it so let's add a new a new content for the sticky notes right i want it uh, small rectangle yeah so you see random colors and that brings us to the end of what i was trying to show you guys and yes you can actually switch to mobile view like a normal like a normal browser you can preview like a normal browser and that brings us to the end of this tutorial today i hope you learned something and see you next time please like and subscribe join the telegram channels not all videos we can post on youtube and if there's anything you would like to see if there's any questions you have please leave a comment and we would um, respond thank you bye